there was a time in my life where I was beginning to have heartburn on an almost nightly basis. I, I didn't know what to do other than to take uh, over-the-counter medicines like Rolaids and Tums. I had lived my good part of my adult life with not being able to lay down flat. Anytime I would lay down flat, I could feel the acid begin to enter my esophagus and cause the damage which became Barrett's esophagus. I live here on Kent Island and uh, I love fishing. I love everything about the island life. I live here with my girlfriend Lillian. We, we also have our dog LJ here with us. It's been 16 years since I was diagnosed with Barrett's esophagus. I've been through multiple treatments. It wasn't until three years ago that I was introduced to Dr. Canto at Johns Hopkins. I met Tom because uh, he was being treated by another physician uh, for his Barrett's esophagus. When I started taking care of him, he actually had already developed invasive cancer. And so I had made a plan with him to essentially save his esophagus. Part of that therapy involved piecemeal resection, which means cutting out the cancer uh, from inside using endoscopic techniques and treating the rest of the Barrett's with other techniques that we use uh, called ablation. Uh, the ablation involves treating the cells where they are without removing them. And it, typically nowadays, it would mean freezing or burning or lasering the unwanted tissue. Dr. Canto suggested I try to have a surgical procedure almost immediately. It was a lifestyle change. I was able to lay down flat and begin to sleep much better at night. One of the, the positive things working with Dr. Canto was she allowed me to enjoy my hobby of fishing. So we were able to schedule my procedures around my fishing trips. That, that was wonderful. It, it gave me a chance to get away and enjoy what I really enjoy doing. So Tom, when he was referred to me, he actually understood that I was committed to you know, doing the marathon with him. Like I told him this, it might take some time. I couldn't promise when we'd be done, but we would be done and we would be successful. Just can't express my gratitude for Dr. Canto. And, and th this is after, if you can, can imagine, after 13 years of other attempts uh, with other doctors. And it, it's like all of a sudden I meet Dr. Canto and she just had a such a positive attitude. She, she looked at my situation, she analyzed everything. She sat down with me, she said, I can cure your problem. Are you ready to go down that long road? I said, yes, I'm ready. And today, I'm cured. Thank you.